welcome to yoga. We're just going to do a little warm-up flow. Find a comfortable seat, hands into prayer, close your eyes down and just start to focus on your breath. up and exhale hands to our knees let's do some hip rolls here seated hip rolls breathing into our hips into our back as we warm our body up and reverse the direction As you can see me swing around. Just a seated cat cow. Good. Come into neutral. Hands on our shoulders. Breathing. Reverse the direction. your head go ahead and assist <laughs> assist yourself all right switch bringing that right ear to that right shoulder and look up and look down Rock your head side to side, nice and slow. If there's a spot that hurts, just hold it there for a minute. Let's do some gentle neck rolls. Nice and slow. And reverse the direction. Okay, let's make our way into our tabletop position here. Just holding our tabletop. Let's bring our hands. We're going to walk our fingers 
out to the outside, pointing back at our knees. You can stay here if that's enough for your wrist. If you want to lean a little bit farther back to get more of a stretch, you can. Keep that stomach tight. Legs activated. All right, let's turn them back around. We're just going to sit back and then just kind of roll our wrists out opposite. the direction. I'm just kind of whatever feels good to your wrist here. All right, back up to tabletop. Let's exhale, pressing down to back to downward facing dog, keeping those knees bent, breathing. Let's just hold this for one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale out of the mouth. Let's walk our way up to our hands if you need your blocks here. Use your blocks. Keeping those knees bent around that head. Just hang here for a minute. I'm going to roll up real slow. One vertebra at a time. Keep on breathing. Lots of oxygen into your brain as you're rolling up. Good. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms back down to the side. And look down, keep our toes, lift our toes, spread them, place them back down on the mat. Really engage those legs, activate our legs, our stomach, shoulders away from the ears. Palms face forward, nice, strong Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, rounding down. Inhale, halfway lift, placing our hands on our thighs. Try and keep our back flat here. Come up higher just to keep that back flat. Tighten in that core. And exhale, down in to tabletop position. You can do knees, lower down chest, chin. And lifting up into cobra. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. And exhale, balasana, child's pose. Let our shoulders warm up here. Let the blood flow through our body, activating our energy. All right, let's do that again. Tabletop, move to knees, chest, chin. Lifting up, cobra, baby cobra. And back down into Balasana, child's pose. If you want, you can take your left arm hand on top of your right. And back to neutral, right arm, right hand on top of left. Rounding up into cat. We're going to inhale, lifting our chin and tailbone. Cow. Exhale, rounding into cat. Do a little side to side movement here if that feels good on your back. Inhale. circles here. You can make these as big or as small as you want. If it feels better even just to hold. Hold from side to side. 
whatever your hips need to warm up here. Okay, just go forward and let's extend that right leg. Don't push away too hard, just try and activate that quad, activate that calf muscle. Make sure your shoulders are above your wrists, core is tight. Spin that left leg, activate that left leg, really activating at the knee. Very good. And turn those toes under, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing, keeping those knees bent. You can pedal your feet out. If that doesn't feel good, just keep those knees bent. Good. Now we're going to come in to our low lunge. Bring our <laughs> block up high. Let's bring that left foot in, making sure our knees above our ankle here. And we'll take our low lunge. Knees above the ankle. Back leg can be flat or active. More of a stretch in the calf muscle and toes if you want. Okay, we're gonna switch legs, bring that right foot in between our blocks, making sure our knees above our ankle. And hold. Make sure we're not scrunching our shoulders into our ears, keeping those shoulder blades strong, hold in our upper back together, tightening that core. One more time on each side. Ankle under knee, core tight, shoulders back away from the ears. You can activate those arms, whatever you want to do with your back leg. This time let's walk it back. Keep that this knee bent. That stretch. Once you can feel a stretch in the back of the leg, and then we'll hold it there. Okay, back into low lunge, and we're going to switch right knee, ankle under knee, shoulders back. Good. Breathing. Active core. This knee, keep it bent. Okay. Come back down. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe. Looking at your hands, walking up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Let's grab our opposite elbows with our hands. Let that head hang heavy. Bend those knees. And breathe. If you want to do a little bit of a side, to side sway here, you can. Listen to your body. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Nice, big inhale, exhale. This time we're gonna hinge at our hips. So we're gonna inhale, flat back, stand up, and exhale. Very good. 
gonna take our warrior pose. So we're gonna step back with our left foot. Woo! <laughs> Gently. Uh, left foot is parallel to the short side of the mat. Your right foot points towards the opposite side of the mat. And we're going to bend this knee. And again, knee above ankle. And then we're gonna extend our arms, shoulders away from the ears, looking to the right above those right fingers. Tighten that core, tighten that left leg. Really activate your body. Inhale, arms up. Straighten that leg. Turn our right foot to face the front of the mat. Left foot towards the short side of the mat. Bend that left knee. Knee above the ankle. Extend the arms out, looking over that left fingertip. Breathe. Tightening that core, shoulders away from the ears. Active body. Good. Inhale, arms up. This time, both of our toes are pointing out. We just exhale, star pose, and goddess. Sit back down almost into a squat. Really keep those shoulders active in the back. Support your spine. Breathing, tightening that core. You can take a break at any time. Holding, breathing. <laughs> Lost my balance. All right, stand up. Let's heel toe it together. This time we're gonna put the weight into our right leg here, lifting that left leg. If you need to hold on to a a wall, um, you know, that's completely fine to keep your balance. Also, to help hold your balance, look to maybe a foot or two in front of you at a steel point on the floor. Engage that core. Release down. Left leg, put our, sorry, put our weight into our left leg, lifting our right. Breathing. Drop that. Take a little bit of a wide stance. Let's do a little bit of some hip circles. Good. Inhale, arms up, coming to the short side of your mat. And exhale, roll down, forward fold, bend the knee. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down into plank. Just hold your plank, activate every muscle that you can think of. Tighten up that body, breathe, breathe. Bring in that right knee, hold, one, two, three. Opposite knee, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If your wrists need a break, come down to a low plank here. And hold. As long as you can, if you need to take a break, take a break. Put your knees down and then lift them back up. Go and let's sit back into child's pose. our legs. I'm just gonna try and what we want to do is try and get to boat pose where we are holding like this. But first we're gonna just lean back using our core but our hands are on our knees if we need to help our back. 
this hurts your back at all, then make sure to sit up taller, roll more onto your sit bones, and then you can feel your core engage a little bit better. Just hold here if you want to lift. Let's put our hands down actually. Lift one leg at a time, just toe touches. Breathing. Start to fill it here. Good. And we're going to roll back. Bringing our hands out to a T. We're going to flex our feet, keeping our knees together, drop them to one side. If you need a block, if you can't reach the, the floor, use a block. So I want you to relax that body, relax into the twist. This is not engaging the core, it's a relaxing twist. Don't hold your head so crazy. That was my hair. <laughs> and we're gonna go to the other side. Another thing is this shoulder. You want it closer to the ground, so if you can't reach your knees to the ground and your shoulders. Bring your knees up. Good. And let's just windshield wiper our knees side to side. And we can put the bottom of our feet together into reclined butterfly pose. You can bring your walk underneath your knee here too just if there's too if it's too much of a stretch on your inner thigh stand our legs out drop our toes down to the side we're just going to sit in Balasana just for a minute. Inhaling through our body. Exhaling out. and toes. Nice big stretch above our head with our arms. Just roll to one side, coming into fetal position. And sitting up. Thank you for joining me in our quick little warm up. Just something to get that blood flowing. Inhale our arms up. And exhale down into prayer. Have a good rest of your day or evening. Namaste.